Step five in unlocking your happiness is to do the inner work, okay? So you've reviewed your feelings, you've found a safe place and quiet place where you can go, you've looked at your life like a movie, you've gotten help if you've had some issues that needed help, and then you've made change. But remember, you know, you can change your job, you can change your living environment, you can change your relationship, but that's not going to bring happiness. Happiness comes from inside yourself. So this is when, if you're not happy and you really want to do the work, so you want to say, okay, I've made changes, I've pulled out of things I knew were making me unhappy, and I need to now work on happiness for myself. And that's doing the shadow work. You know, people say shadow work is that looking at the stuff that you really don't like about yourself and facing it and either accepting it or changing it. So that means accepting it and loving who you are, whatever your flaws are, or saying, okay, I can make a change in this. I can be kinder. I can be more generous or more loving. What can I do? If I don't like this about myself, what can I do? And, you know, when you're going through this stage, it brings up a great self-awareness. You want to look at your emotions and what is affecting you, really what is making you unhappy. You know, recall situations or trauma bring up the pain bring it up so you can face it and then release it you know you might oh, and do a physical release you know crying works for me but I know some people scream or punch a pillow let it out and express that in a healthy manner then you can start to mentally understand why it happened. You know, why, if it's someone who behaved a certain way, if it's you, why did you behave that way? What was I thinking to make me do what I did? Really get behind the situation or this issue or the trauma and understand it. And, you know, if it's someone else and you understand them, then you will be able, if you understand their hurt, then you can understand it more. You will understand why. And that goes into the spiritual. That's the next thing is that then you can have the spiritual understanding and think of whatever issues or traumas or situations have come up in your life as blessings because you've actually raised your consciousness and they've helped you. So once you move past that, then you can find compassion, compassion for yourself, compassion for someone else, you know, understand that other people are suffering deep hurt and compassion doesn't mean engagement, okay? You can let go without contact, let go of the person, let go of the situation, let go of the trauma from your past. And then you can establish boundaries, you know, with yourself, not just with other people, but also things that you say, I'm not going to do this anymore. And you may not be able to stop someone from their behavior, but you can certainly stop how you behave.